Welcome back to Fly Rembrandt Heroes. Today we'll be doing a summoning session on the new Halloween banner. Um, lately I've been skip, pretty much skipping all of the uh, special hero banners, but Zane is a super interesting unit. Um, I want as does I want a Zane because he's so interesting to me. And uh, while I'm at it, I'll try for either uh, Ninian or um, Grima. Um, there's no sparking because it's a special hero's banner, so I'm mostly going to focus on colorless with greens and blues. Um, and once I get Zane, then uh, I'll go till I get a 5 star and then I'll stop. So I have a 449 orbs, that should be enough to at least get one copy of Zane. So let's begin. So we got a colorless. Um, I do want at least two copies of Zane uh, to plus one him. Oh, okay, we got him on a free summon. This is perfect. That means that I can actually go for that second copy without even having to worry about it. I would love a plus HP, but um, I guess plus defense would be fine if uh, for him to reach the 170 BST once I merge him, but I would love a plus HP. So this is a plus defense one, so that's pretty good. Like I said, plus defense is not bad for him. Atlas, that's a brand new... Oh, that's the name of the colorless stone. I mean, maybe that's what Brahminmon has. I don't know. I don't have a Brahminmon. So, like I said, I'm also going to be summoning on the blues and greens. Mostly. Because both the Tiki and Grima interest me as well. Lucas does not interest me at all. Uh, well, I do think the Ginzia is pretty uh, he's pretty cool and i love his sprite work he's just not um worth getting right now maybe on a dual hero banner i will try for him but for right now he's not a priority for me priority will be getting that second thing and getting a five star hopefully either grima or tiki <gasps> yes, Emerin. If you don't know, I've been looking for Emerins. This is only the second Emerin I have summoned since she was released. Emerin is a merch project of mine that I really, really want uh, to plus 10. I have a build in mind for her. Emerin is a unit I really, really been wanting to get. But I just don't summon her. I think this is my first Lena. This should be my first Lena. Yep. This is a plus speed Lena. Okay, not bad. And we'll go for the blue orb. No need to get the red orb, even though it's only three orbs. Est. Just because mm, I don't want to accidentally summon the Ginzia. All right. So hopefully we do get our second scene before we get the five star. And I don't mind if he is the five star. Mm. Oh, there he is. So we do have the second scene that we wanted. So now we're just gonna summon until we get a five star. And that's it. This is a plus attack scene, which minus HP is terrible. But since we're gonna merge him, it's not really a problem. So uh, this is actually the first time I ever, this Zane is actually the first five star, um, what do you call it? Uh, the four star focus unit on a, um, on a uh, special heroes banner that I have ever summoned. I don't have any of the other four, four star focus. So, 
Because like I said, I've been skipping a lot of these special hero banners, like Fallen Heroes, uh, which is not really a special hero banner because they go into the pool. Brave Heroes and Mythic banners are pretty much what I've been sticking to. Uh, even new heroes banners I've been skipping for the most part. But, like I said, Zane is just really interesting. I mean, we're still gonna have someone on the colorless. It builds up repeated rating. We might get an, another Xander or another Emerin. And I said Xander, not Xander, Zane. No, Zane or Emerin. I don't think there's any other colorless that have come out that I don't have. Oh, there's another Zane. So this is our third Zane. This is a another minus HP. This is a plus speed though. Alright. So yeah, like this is pretty lucky. Getting these uh, four stars. We got Lara Shell or Lara Kel. Um but yeah. Since this is kind of going to be a short summon session, I didn't bring a big topic to talk about like I usually do. <gasps> Ophelia. This is actually my very first Ophelia. Now it can be a degenerate and put her on Iterate's defense teams like everybody else. I won. I don't, I don't like infantry pulse teams and she works. The good thing is she doesn't actually need infantry pulse to work, but yeah. So she is minus attack, which is kind of a shame. Because her whole thing is to be a plus attack. Chill rest. Hmm. Alright, so we'll just finish this circle because we're done. We got pity broken by an Ophelia, but I'm fine. Uh, Zane was the number one priority. If I decide to summon again on this banner, I'll do it later on in the month. And I don't know. I'll try to go for either Grima or uh, Grima or Tiki, since Tiki, because I don't even I don't have a single resplendent hero till this moment. So uh, not resplendent hero, harmonic hero. But yeah, uh, both both uh, Tiki and Grima are really good units, and like I said, the Ginsi is not bad. I mean, he's a very very defensive monster and search sense 3 is pretty good uh, as well as having this is the first inheritable breath that we got in the game since um, water breath and that came out when we got uh, what is it called um, uh, Kanas, the Kanas, the Kanas were the ones, baby Kanas, uh, male Kana and female Kana were the ones that got the, that weapon, and it's been so long that female Kana already has a refine on her weapon, she got a new weapon with a refine, so that's how long ago we got an Iron Hair Double Breath, and this is just Kairo Kojo, I mean, everything is Kairo Kojo nowadays, so yeah, um, I'm happy with uh, the results. Uh, I guess I should have marked him. So yeah, like I said, Emerin is one of my merge projects. My other merge projects were uh, Echidna, which I just got her to plus 10. So, and she got the deck Swabber, which is was what I was waiting. Uh, she'll eventually get this encounter and I'll see this draw because that's what Nylas are for. That's the only reason I get Nylas for. These are my other mesh projects, Ferdinand and Forest. Um, I think I have enough. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a plus one, so that's eight. And I think I have some three stars. Eight, nine, ten. So I have enough for Ferdinand already. And for Forest, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he is plus one so that's nine so I'm still missing one more force plus any him 
And as I said, Emerin, she's only plus two. The two free copies that we got, the one that have someone, and this is the very first Emerin that I have someone since then. It's a plus HP. Um, I'm looking for a plus attack. But yeah, I mean, I already have a build that I want. I, she already has Palm Staff, which is what I wanted her to have. Um, this kid right here is mostly for when she was a bonus unit in AR. That's what she's blessed. And this is Astro Season is where she will be going uh, once she's finished. But yeah, um, that's it for this summoning session. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.